Hey everybody, this is Todd from Image Wash Products, and I'm here to show you our dual soap fulminator injection system. Once you get the box in the mail, we're gonna show you all the things that come with it. First, you're gonna have your dual soap injector system. Next, you're gonna have your soap lines that connect from the injector to your soap containers. We got dilution tips in the bag. We got two premium soap draw tubes. We got 12 foot of jumper hose. And last but not least, the fulminator. All right, once you get it all laid out, I'm gonna roll through left to right, show you how to hook it up as you go along. First, you're gonna to wanna to get your injector and it's got a, um, a mounting bracket that affixes to the wall of some sort and it's got a slot in the back. So what you wanna do is drill four holes, mount that up. It's got a bolt here with a washer. You slide that in and then slide it down in the slot, tighten the bolt up, you're good to go. So once you get it affixed to the wall, what you wanna do is you're gonna hook up your soap lines. You got two soap lines for this specific dual injector. One side is soap one, okay? Then I go all the way over to the other side, that's soap two. Then when you wanna rinse, you put it right in the middle, which will increase your rinse pressure and volume and shuts down the soap systems. Okay, once I have that mounted to the wall, I'm gonna pick a dilution tip. Um, these are all color rated for different size holes to determine how strong or weak your soap is. Super simple, you literally line them up and they push right in to the black hose barb. Okay, once I got those pushed in, I'm gonna hook up my soap lines. They slide right over there, get nice and tight, done, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I will unroll that and I'm gonna hook it up to our nice premium soap, soap draw tubes. They go right in this five gallon for helping out for spilling or tipping over and so on. Once I got all that figured out and done, last part is the jumper hose. And what you wanna do with this jumper hose is there's two, there's an inlet and there's an outlet on this injector. You're gonna to wanna to take the 12 foot jumper hose that we give you, and you got a swivel on one end, and you got a stationary one on the other. I prefer to put the stationary here because this is already swiveling. So you're gonna hook this up to your pressure washer, okay? You're gonna go all the way down, hook it up to the inlet side of this injector. Once you get all those done, then you're gonna take whatever hose that you had on your pressure washer that is going to your gun, and you hook it right up to the outlet side of the injector. Once you have all that done, you literally can hook up your fulminator to your hose and begin having some fun. Another thing that I wanna mention on the fulminator is we ship it with the handle affixed to the, 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 the barrel. But if you notice, there's a, three, a quarter inch plug in there, you're gonna to wanna to remove that plug screw in your handle before you start washing. We're here at our detail headquarters today and they already have this set up in their wash bay. Um, they got their touchless one and two on here. We got our soap lines running to each drum. It doesn't have the premium ones, but same concept. Next, we got our inlet pressure washer coming from our pressure washer going into the injector. And then finally, we got our outlet, which is running right to the gun. Simply, all you wanna do, I'm in neutral position right now. I want soap one. I slide it all the way over until it stops. On your fulminator, you got a lever action in the middle. You either turn it up to activate the foam nozzle barrel or you turn it down to activate the rinse barrel. You got your nifty handle here. So I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna start with the foam. We're gonna hit it, we got our our soap selector on soap one. We're gonna foam away. Good. 
So I just got done, I just got done foaming our soap A, or uh, step one. You can simply roll it right over to the next side. You got your soap B, or step two, and continue to foam. If you're done foaming, all you have to do is put it in the middle. You'll feel it go in the middle, it stops, done. Switch to your rinse barrel. We're gonna have soap in our line, so it's gonna take about five seconds to clean out. So that's it, thanks for watching. We here at Image Wash Products appreciate everything. We ask that you like, subscribe, follow, do whatever you gotta do to support us. We're here to support you. Appreciate everything, thanks so much.